Hi guys, I'm Jay living in Seoul. Today I'm gonna talk about BTS Ma City released in 2015. In the song, the members express their identity by introducing their hometown, and the ways of introducing them are all different depending on the members. Among them, J-Hope's lyrics are very unique. The numbers in his lyrics have a special meaning. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the meaning of those things and their cultural and historical backgrounds. And I will also add some explanations on other lyrics. Then let's get started. <laughs> He introduces his hometown in detail by describing the specific life he experienced in his childhood. La Festa and Western Dome in his lyrics are buildings where restaurants and clothing stores are gathered. Hugo is a village with dense buildings and many hagwons. Hagwon is a private educational institution created for additional learning after school classes. Here, almost all kinds of lessons you can imagine exist, including reading, essay writing, piano art, jump rope, and science experiment, as well as English and mathematics. Many students come to the Hagwans after school and take classes on subjects they wanted to focus more on. RM once said he had studied English at those Hagwans. Amjo says that before entering this industry, he was an ordinary student who focused on studying at school in Hagwans and sometimes hung out with friends. This place is also famous for holding a flower festival every year, and he vividly expressed his hometown by listing specific places such as the lake park and the flower festival he visited. <laughs> Busan is a large city located on the beach, so it is called the city of the sea. And tall buildings lined up on the beach are also famous. The scenery created by the harmony of buildings and nature is beautiful. The skyline in their lyrics seems to be these buildings. First of all, J-Hope's lyrics are very symbolic. The first number in J-Hope's lyrics is 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock symbolizes Gwangju. Gwangju is in the southwest city of Korea. If you put the clock on the map of Korea, Gwangju is the place where the clock handle of the 7 o'clock point. Then why does he call this city like this? Actually, this word is aimed at discrimination and hate. Gwangju has been subject to regional discrimination for a very long time. Since the 1970s, regionalism has been actively used in elections. In particular, discrimination and hatred against the Jollado became explicit. They were excluded from economic development and had to undergo discrimination in reputation or perception. Based on this regionalism, certain regime was acquired and maintained. This tendency lasted almost until the 1990s. Until now, there is still a tendency to support different candidates depending on their region. But now it has eased a lot compared to the past. But even now, extreme rightists still mock and hate them. There is a website where such hatred and ridicule are expressed aggressively and unrestrictedly, and the users there called Jollado 7 o'clock. So what J-Hope says 7 o'clock here is to face such hate to raise the question of it. Now let's take a look at the following numbers. You can see the number 062. 518. In the lyrics, he says press, which looks like a phone number. That's right, the first three numbers, 062 is phone number. In Korea, each region is given a different area code, and 062 is the area code of Gangju. Actually, the one behind is not a phone number. This refers to the democratic uprising in Gwangju. It is called 518 Democratic Uprising because it was greatly triggered on May 18, 1980. One of the things Koreans are proud of about Korea's democracy is that it was not given by anyone else, but that they won it on their own. There are several events that represent the history of such an achievement, one of which is 518, and the place where it occurred is Gwangju, the hometown of Ho Seok. In 1980, many Gwangju citizens were killed by the military dictatorship. At that time, the media was thoroughly controlled, so out of the city, people had no idea 
what happened here. Rather, distorted reports were sent, fueling the hatred mentioned earlier. This history has long been painful to locals. People here have lost their families and relatives in reality. They were even discriminated against and suffered from prejudice. They went through brutal and painful times. However, their resistance became an important milestone in the development of democracy in South Korea. If you are interested in these historic events, you can watch the Korean movie Taxi Driver. And if you are curious about what opened up today's democracy of South Korea, watch another film, 1987. J-Hope shows pride and respect for the history of his hometown. Now let me explain the other lyrics. First of all, Kia in the lyrics is the name of automobile company. There are some of the company's factories in Gwangju. In Korean, the pronunciation of the English word Kia and the company name Kia are almost the same. So he used Kia instead of gear while conveying the meaning of I put it in gear to start up. The reason why he put the brand name in is that it is a company that supports baseball representing the region and also refers to the name of a baseball team called the Kia Tigers. So it looks like he's saying he's rooting for the local baseball team. <laughs> Suga's hometown is Daegu. Daegu also has a lot of pride in its own way, but he rarely bragged or introduced it. The only thing he said was blue blood. Blue here is the symbolic color of the Samsung Lions, a baseball team based in Daegu. This means that he supports the Samsung Lions so much that his blood circulates blue. <laughs> He points himself as Teg's pride. Look at his confidence, isn't it so cool? Okay, so far we have briefly looked at the characteristics of the member's hometown through BTS song Ma City. I hope you learned new things through my video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and set the notification. See you next time. Bye!